Hello and welcome. I'm Vivian with foodandstyle.com. Grate the garlic with a microplane grater which makes the task just so easy. Peel the fresh ginger root with a paring knife. Cut it in pieces. And also grate the ginger with your microplane grater. Since the roots are so fibrous, the microplane really does a marvelous job with that. Place your crushed garlic in a small bowl. Add the grated ginger, the salt, the cayenne, the tamari soy sauce, and the toasted sesame oil. And you're gonna whisk until well blended. For the mushroom, cut the stems at the base of the cap. And by the way, make sure you save those stems to make stock they might be too fibrous to eat, but they still have lots of flavor in them. Cut the mushroom in quarter inch strips and then cut them crosswise in quarter inch cubes. For the scallions, cut the root scent off and then trim them about three inches from their top. Put them together tightly and slice them in super thin slices. large skillet of a high heat, make sure that it is non-stick because if you use a regular pan the mushrooms will stick to it and it will make a terrible mess. Add the oil, spread the oil around the pan and then add the mushrooms. Toss the mushrooms until they're well coated with the oil. And we are going to saute them at high heat for seven to eight minutes until they're golden brown. After this preliminary tossing, spread the mushrooms in the pan and let them cook undisturbed for at least two minutes. And you see all these vapors that you see? It is the mushroom releasing all their moisture. It's been about two minutes. And you see the mushrooms have become soft. They started to brown a little bit. So toss them well, spread them around again, and let cook undisturbed for another one to two minutes. See the mushrooms have continued to lose their moisture. They are starting to brown nicely. So from this point on, you're going to toss the mushrooms only about every 30 seconds or so until they're golden brown. The mushrooms are done. You see the color is golden brown. It's absolutely perfect. Now you're only going to cook this for about 15 seconds. Transfer to a large bowl. And we're going to let the mushrooms cool until they're warm to the touch. Take four basil leaves and stack them on top of each other. Now to do a chiffonade it is easiest if you don't try to do it with all 12 leaves at once. Just do four at a time and then roll them tightly like if you were rolling a cigarette. Holding the leaves tightly with your fingers, slice them in super thin strips. You see, it makes the most wonderful delicate garnish. Now make sure you don't cut your basil too much ahead of time because it will oxidize and the edges will turn brown. So it's best to do this just before you're ready to plate your dish. Now 
that the mushrooms have cooled, add the scallions, chopped peanuts, and drizzle with lime juice. I'm going to stir until it's well blended. For the lettuce boat, you need to pick leaves from the Boston lettuce that are in the center like this one. This one is the outer leaf, it's way too big, and these little ones close to the heart are too small to hold that filling. Place the lettuce leaves on a tray. Actually, I forgot to mention, you'll need to buy two heads of Boston lettuce in order to pull out the right size leaves. Place a little bit of the mushroom filling in the center of each leaf. And garnish with a basil chiffonade. Bon appétit!